try and make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. Hey guys, it's Kamsi Namani and I'm back with a client transformation video. I feel like I haven't done this in ages and today we're going to be doing um, glossy eyelids. And yeah, let's get right into it. Right now I'm doing her brows. My brow routine hasn't really changed to be honest. I'm just um, tracing her brows and I'm um, trying to conceal it with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I believe this is in the shade Fawn. And I'm going to use a darker shade for her upper brows. So I'm just going to let you guys watch because this is basically self-explanatory. So yeah guys, I just prepped her eyes with the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan and I set that with um, a setting powder and I'm just going into the Soph X Makeup Revolution palette and using this orange shade basically all over her lids with a fluffy brush. So now guys, I'm going to be using lip gloss on a flat synthetic brush and rubbing this all over her eyelids. I did make a mistake. I should have applied her lashes first before doing that because from this point, the lashes just refused to stay put. So you guys, please just unsee that. I'm just prepping her skin now with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. Um, she really does have oily skin and I'm... Also going to be applying my Melanie Mills Green Body Radiance for some for some what for some extra glow. Then to really you know keep her face dry, I'm going to be applying some setting powder all over her face because we don't want any oil in this bee. Okay. So today I'm just going to be using the Zico Cosmetics Foundation in the shade. 020 and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, I hope that's what it's called, <laughs> foundation in this shade 420. I'm going to be mixing these two foundation shades. Hey guys, this is me trying to rectify this lash situation, but it just, you know, it just wasn't having it. So please, I tried, please go easy on me. And another tip I would like to drop here is if you feel like your foundation shade is a bit too light, you can always correct that with contour, or if you feel it's a bit too dark, you can always con correct that with concealer. Um, right now I'm going with concealers, two concealers in the shade Fawn and Cool Tan. And to contour, I'm going to be using the Black Opal Foundation skin, um, Stick in the shade Black Walnut. Another 
So right now guys, I'm just using setting powder to kind of define her contour more. I'm not really applying that much to be honest. And this is a step I really, really find important. I just use the foundation brush with some of the foundation left on it already to kind of blend contour to her actual skin so it's not too harsh because that's the key to makeup really it's blending what blending and right now i'm using the zaron cosmetics contour palette to contour powder palette to you know set the cream contour i applied on her face Right now I'm just using the Zikel Cosmetics face powder to set you know everything in place and dust off the initial um, setting powder that was applied on her face. Now I'm just setting her face with the Mario Badescu facial spray and I'm going with the Makeup Revolution blush palette. Um, actually it's a highlight, I don't know why it's called blush palette. To kind of give her some shine and I'm using a smaller brush for the nose to really achieve that thin line um, illusion of a slimmer nose sorry guys I don't know how I forgot this step I was supposed to do this before setting her face I'm just going under her eyes to apply the same shade I did on her lids and I'm using the NYX white liner for her under eye and the Zaron Cosmetics mascara for her lashes. Now I'm going back with the Tara lip liner in the shade Afia. I always use this liner, you guys, and then I'm using the Pout by M lip stain in the shade lost which is a glossy formula but that's not enough for me and i'm going back with an actual lip gloss to really tie up the look and yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys please help your girl out until next time guys bye I'll be